smooch over on all these sleeping bags. Caleb, tell us some the best part of what you did last year when you spent the night here. Um, probably the storytelling. It was really fun. A lot of it was kind of scary. And then at the end, they'd have like a joke and it'd be, it'd like turn the whole purpose of the story and it'd be like really funny. Now I heard that you were an owl last year. Yeah. I stayed up till like 7.30 in the morning and then I started to go to sleep and then Mike woke me up, so. Troublemaker. <laughs> 7.30, so you stayed up the entire night and did you read the whole time? I read about, yeah, probably most of it. And then I watched like half of a movie also. So you can read about two, three good books during this time. Yeah, well, it depends on how big the book is. Cause like, if it's like this big, it probably finish it in about that time maybe okay. and then if it was small like my little sister's book it's like this thick then you could probably finish four of those okay you're a fast reader okay all right caleb and michael and alicia thank you so much for joining us and bonnie another great way to promote literacy that they're doing down here in the fox cities yes. and it's a good way really i mean to encourage other kids and maybe even other schools to adopt the same program that's right and i didn't see any harry potter books no, we got those Hardy Boys, though, and Barbie. Well, those are my favorites, yeah. too. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Cameron? It's 646, September.